Yeah, what is the craziest thing you've ever tattooed on someone? Not too bad. Tramp stamp with the minus B formula on a dude, which is weird. Fought over the nipple. <laughs> um, ah, me and, the, me and fucking the fella I used to work for, Decky, Declan O'Gallon, he, um, we did like tattoo of us rules. So like mm. he tattoos me, I don't know what I'm getting. He tattoos, I tattoo him, he doesn't know what he's getting. So he did mine <laughs> first and he was going on for weeks about like, oh, my old one's going to be so fucking bad. Like, so I was like, fuck, I better get him back. So like, so I drew, this, drew this thing. I got a little mix, which is still there. There with pink right. highlights, which yeah. is like a girl band. And um, I did for him then a cocky cock, which was a cock and balls, but it, the, the balls had like little chicken feet coming off it, and the balls had little wings on it, and it coming up and coming then on itself. And uh, he was not too Brilliant. pleased. He's not too pleased oh, at all. That's great. That's probably the, the strangest yeah. one I've done. Oh, yeah, he was not happy. I've never seen a man more angry. It <laughs> made me start worse than fucking laughing more, of course. It yeah, made him angry, which made me laugh more. Yeah, that's the weirdest one, it's a. <laughs> that's brilliant. Oh, yeah. So, can you think of any artists that have been like the biggest kind of inspirations to you kind of growing up? Growing up, Banksy, definitely. Right, Especially yeah. with the, the street art side of things. And his each sense of humour with things, yeah. you know, which was a big yeah. fucking thing for me. I appreciate that massively, humour in art, like, yeah. I always have to have a bit of a sense of humour about it. So I can't tell stand artists that take themselves too seriously, especially with rappers, like a rapper that can't joke about anything or take anything lightly. Yeah, it's, you know, it takes the enjoyment and the fun of it. You know, exactly, that's yeah. why even, like, art college as well, it was so serious, like, there was no room yeah. to play. So, yeah, it's like people think that fucking... They think funny stuff isn't real art, and it's like, no, it's art just as much as anything. Yeah, art. yeah, it's actually art for the people. Yeah, it's easily exactly, understood yeah. art, and it's humorous, it's and enjoyable. And it's intellectually experience. intelligent as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, humor works. Like. You can understand how somebody else is going to perceive it, instead yeah. of just like, oh, I shat on this canvas because it's an expression <laughs> of my excretion into the world. You know, some yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah. Which is most, most like, art, fancy art is these days. Yeah. It's like, if it, le it means less, so if it's like a few squares, it can mean more. Yeah. So they can just bullshit about what it means know, and sell yeah. it for a million fucking bucks to it's some abstract. fucking rich asshole. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? So they're going to buy tax, yeah. which is pretty much what the art world is. This is a canvas, but I was thinking about something very interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you know? So then art is for artists in yeah. that sense, but art should be for the people. It should be yeah, exactly. To and not status, ideas. like, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you know? Status should be based on how fucking good it is to other people, not how good it is to some critic. Or exactly, <laughs> do you know? It doesn't represent and it's to share people. ideas and stuff, do you know? Yeah, to, exactly. You know, put comments on human consciousness or whatever the fuck it is, do you know what yeah. I mean? But Banksy was definitely the biggest cut growing up. In more recent mm. years, it'd be people like Nichos, who's fucking insane, fucking insane. Nice. It does like, do you know Alex Gray, like a psychedelic artist? Oh, I do, yeah, It's like yeah. a street artist version of Alex oh, Gray nice. stuff, more cartoonized, yeah, cool. a bit neo tratty but yeah, fucking. Like the DMT art kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially, mm. do you know? It's beautiful, and yeah. Beautiful. And he's just rocking up and doing it and, mm. R ridiculous places, like, do you know what I mean? Just Are any crazy tattoo artists that have inspired you? Do you know, crazy tattoos are only going to start in these days, man. Right, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm really, really blown up tattoos, isn't it? Like, yeah. just really mainstream. <laughs> like, Lit Landy tattoo is English. Used to make people look dodgy, and now it's just everyone who appreciates Yeah, yeah. Do you know, you can have fucking hand tattoos and be a waiter or waitress, and nobody fucking yeah. cares. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Nobody yeah. looks twice at my fucking tattoos anymore. No. You know? There is still some bit of stigma, alright, with older people. Right, yeah. Do you know, it's just fucking, just people being yeah. shit. Do you know, not they understanding. They kind of stuck in their, their kind of old views and stuff as well, I guess. You look terrible when you're old. Like, <laughs> I look terrible when I'm old. Like, you look yeah. fucking terrible when you're old. I guess old. face tattoos probably still have quite a bit of stigma around them. Not too bad, like, man. Oh, really? You know, yeah, a little bit. Like, yeah. Like, fucking, it happens the odd time. Do you know? I guess it depends, because some look a lot more like gangland than others do. <laughs> Which is like, anybody who cares is not worth caring about. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's fucking... Fucking judgmental pricks. Judging yeah. off what you look like and all that bollocks instead of actually yeah. having a conversation with you. Yeah, it's not habitual. Yeah. Do you know? Take mm. a bit of take a bit of acid boys, fucking yeah. <laughs> learn some shit. Experience people. Yeah. You know, that shit. But no, it's not too bad these days, man. It's yeah. more it's more of yeah. Mainstream, mm. let's say tattoo. Which is good for us because it means, you know, there's more customers, there's way loads mm. of fucking tattoo studios in Cork. But everybody yeah. seems to be busy, do you know? Mm. So it's, yeah, it's better to push each other more and yeah. you know seeing more art, especially because of the internet, Instagram, all that shit. You're mm. experiencing so many different tattoo styles and stuff. You can further your knowledge yeah. a lot more. 